Alright guys, I'm gonna head back in the truck here and just show you a few more things. I'm, I'm really learning about this unit. And there's still a, a ton left to learn. But I had a little incident yesterday where the uh, uh my iPod disconnected and I had a very I had some trouble getting it back connected again but I got that all fixed um, I've been playing around with colors I've kind of got it wild right now but I don't know this thing is so neat I mean it really is um, I've been playing with, with apps and stuff like that and uh, see I got nitrous and the injection seat that's for my wife when she starts talking too much just shoot her right out the roof okay let's see what I've learned here well just some of the stuff I'm playing around with um, that I didn't show you before um, did I show you um, navigation I may have uh, yeah I think I did anyway I go with Tom Tom yeah I've already showed you that it's not good there anyway it's gonna pull up anyway uh, some fun stuff maybe. What was that that I had on here? A nitrous setting? No, no not that song. Sorry. Music. I don't know. I did this just for fun. My daughter, will, my daughter will probably like it. Hey girl. Can you imagine driving at night with this? I know it's late, but I knew you'd pick it up. No, I ain't drunk. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. It just has like thousands of different things that you can. That'll go along with the music, all kind of dancing shapes and stuff like that. I know you say you're taking, but I say, girl, you're taking too long. Uh, let's see. What else did I find on this thing? Uh, yes. We got ways. That's another navigation um, app. It works pretty good. To me, it's a little more simple than than, than Tom Tom, but if I want to use it, I can use it. And what else did I pick out here? This is a little app I'm I'm just playing around with. It's called Harry's GPS OB uh, Onboard Diagnostics Buddy. Um, I wanted to find something that would kind of show me, like, and I need to get the OBD thing to plug into the port to get a lot of the information. But it's got a neat um, trip computer, monitors all your speed, traveling time, stuff like that. Again, yeah, I'm just tires. This is going to show uh, tire pressure, temperature, and I don't know that I, I could ever get that to work. I don't know. but It's just stuff that I'm, I know you got to, I read the with the app you got to get an OBD uh, little thing you plug in that will transmit Bluetooth information. But I was trying to find something that could uh, just tell me more information about the car. This is kind of a GPS app. It tells you altitude, speed, heading, slope. Uh, I don't know what environment is. Latitude, longitude, compass. Uh, what else? Engine. It's another one too that will, I'll have to get like a, um, a little OBD. I think you can get them pretty cheap on Amazon, but it just has different things. Coolant temperature, air, catalyst, tank, voltage, throttle, speed, RPMs, 
uh, oil temperature, trip computer. I think I've already done that one. No, I haven't, but it just tells you your time, like if you're doing a trip and stuff like that, waypoints, time left, time of arrival, distance left, bearing to waypoint, travel distance, whatever. Just different apps you can try um, with the unit. Trip planning map. Cool, I get a map of Ethiopia. No, just kidding. Um, I'm down here on the coast. It's right near Pensacola, Florida. So, you know. anyway, I don't know. I just, I still think this unit's good. I was a little disappointed with the uh, disconnection yesterday, but you know what? The head, the, the, the factory head unit did, did that a couple times too. So, I can't, can't be too mad about that. Still, audio quality is great. Now, I went in there in the EQ. That's something I didn't show you um, before. I, I don't think I did. Or did I? Um, no. So you gotta, you gotta learn like where everything is. I know it's under apps, but I went in there and started messing with surround sound and all this stuff. Man, I had this thing sounding so good. And I don't know what I did. I mean, it still sounds good, but I started messing with all this stuff here. I don't. I mean, it just changes what each speaker does. Uh, the sounds that come out of it, you can. I've never seen something so customizable as this. Um, bass boost. It really made the factory speakers sound a ton better. But like I said, I got I got to I got to play with all this. This is you can kind of move the sound around. I think um, the bag went over this. I don't know what some of this stuff is. When I start messing with it. I'll never get I'll never get it back. Bass filter. Uh, what else? Have I done steering wheel controls? This, you can change everything on your steering wheel to what you want to do. I haven't messed with it. It was this. It works just like it should right out of the factory. And let's see. Taste my little girl wants to um, watch a an aquarium while we're going on a trip. You can play with the fish, make the fish swim. Just little stupid things I'm just messing with. You know, I doubt I'll even keep some of this stuff, but anyway, just thought I'd bring you another video. Uh, I know the first one was kind of not in depth or anything. This one probably isn't either, but uh, the next one will be just some other things I've discovered. So far, so good. I just disappointed with the disconnection on the iPod having a little trouble connecting my phone and the iPod at the same time that might be the issue I don't know it's it always wants to use my iPod as my phone and my phone will not connect as long as the iPod is connected I may be doing something totally wrong uh, but like I, said, I do not use my phone a lot in the truck I really don't I don't do phone calls in the truck never have anyway second video still impressed fun to play with totally worth it um, I'd still buy it again appreciate it guys thanks